Hey YouTube, it's your girl Desiree. You know, we back with another video. I am the owner of Riches and Tasha, in case anyone didn't know. And I, I need to start saying that more because I get a lot of people that say the name wrong. And I know it's kind of like a, a difficult name. It's a French name. And it means uh, tainted wealth. But yeah, so Riches and Tasha. That's how you say the name. So yeah, today I'm going to try to try to make a um a fairly simple video and it's going to be about um how I basically plan to set out my next drop. So my next drop is coming in about 3 weeks from today. So I'm kind of like a week into um the promotion and everything. So we just going to get right into it. We're going to start from the bottom. So number 6 is a uh, you need to promote like three to four weeks between your drops at least at least because um the reason why you need to promote like three or four weeks you have to i know some people i've seen some people on uh youtube say two weeks because people don't want to wait that long for the product but i i say three to four weeks is key in my opinion because you need to give you need to create more of a build-up you know like in those two weeks I don't feel like um, you create as much of a build up because first of all, you gotta be trying to grow that SMS list. Like that's number one, in my opinion, grow the SMS list. So I think a good three to four weeks, I'm doing four weeks right now. Like I said, I'm one week in, I drop in three weeks. So I think key for me, what I'm gonna start doing is four weeks before every drop to build up SMS list, um, gain more hype around it. And uh, just to give people, put the product in front of people a lot more so they can see it, you know, for a longer period of time. Now, I'm not, me personally, I'm not going to go longer than four weeks because I feel like that might be like a stretch then. Unless it's a restock and they're already been waiting on it anyway. But I don't know. I just personally wouldn't go longer than four weeks because people will kind of get like tired of waiting and probably, I don't know, go buy some other shit. Who knows? But yeah. Three to four weeks, I say, is a good time. Then, um, another thing I'm going to do, I've been having, like, the same type of website since my first drop. It's kind of, it's a, it's a pretty decent website, I feel like. Let me see if I can bring it up real quick. It's locked. So, yeah. Oh, Y'all can see. Uh, this is what the lock page looks like, you know, for the VIP membership password so y'all make sure y'all have i i don't know how to exactly put the um the number like the actual box to put the phone number but like so you see that vip membership right there so when you click it what it does is it's going to go to straight to the text message screen and what that's going to do is it's going to send you have to send that text message and once you send the text message off you subscribe with your phone number so then i have your phone number so it's just the same as putting a number in but i feel like doing it this way is easier easier for you you don't gotta go and put no number in just click the box send the text message that's it so yeah my um my website i had a little sale going before i um before i changed it but you know you got like the I need to focus. Ooh, they focusing. It got like a anyway, it's like a black background or whatever. With the products and all that. So what anyway, you probably can't see it that good, but what I am gonna do, I think I'm gonna change it to white. Just have every the whole background white instead of black. And then um I'm going to what else I said? Yeah change the background to white and then i'm going to have like i'm going to try to get pictures like instead of like y'all see like the product pictures i did them like on the floor and i just like changed the background of the picture so those look nice excuse me but i think i'm going to add uh pictures when you click on it of someone actually wearing the product i don't have pictures like that on the website and i think a lot of people they want to see what it looks like when you have it on so i think that'll help me get more more sales once you click on it and then you can see like okay you see the main product picture and then when you scroll over you see the picture of what it looks like when you actually have the product on so i think that'll help me sell out and then i'm going to that was number five so number four i'm going to offer um bundles so 
I didn't do this with my sweatsuits, but I am gonna do it with the shorts. So the shorts that you seen on the um the password page, those are the shorts I'm gonna drop. Now, those four colorways, and then I got two more colorways that I'm gonna drop. It was kind of like a surprise colorways, two surprise colorways. But so it's six colors in all. So what I'm going to do is um do like I don't know. I probably sell them for fifty dollars each, two for ninety. You know, I don't know, three for one twenty, just something like that, and uh, help to convert, you know, conversions, and to help people even spend more money. You know, get a deal. You feel like you get a better deal when you buy three shorts, two shorts. I don't know if I'm gonna do that three yet, but I'm gonna definitely do the two for ninety. And then um, I all I normally I always offer um, free shipping. So I may keep that, but if I end up doing like the uh three for what I said, um 120, if I do three for 120 on the shorts, then yeah, y'all gonna have to pay for shipping now. Y'all can't, you know, I can't give you that kind of deal and still pay for the shipping now. Y'all gonna have to, you gonna have to, you know. All right, and then so a lot of this stuff is kind of most of it is marketing, like the the three the three to four weeks, like I said, that's a marketing, and then the um. The other two wasn't, but number three, this is this where you get into marketing because these get into the more important things you need to do to help you sell out. So number three, um, I'm going to post at least one reel on my Instagram every day. At least for sure, real because real is a thing. I feel like Instagram reels is really taking off right now. They're big right now, so y'all need to get onto the Instagram reels. Number three, post one reel or and one picture a day on your Instagram. And so, also on TikTok too. I hate TikTok. I don't understand it and I, I just, I don't I don't like TikTok. But I still do the same thing on TikTok. So I do at least post one time a day on TikTok. And rule of thumb, they say post two to three times a day. I don't like TikTok because I personally feel like it's like luck. Like you go viral based off of luck. I don't think any type of like video really matters like they say post like controversial shit you know but i did that one time and i went viral but it was they were so focused on the controversial shit that they wasn't even paying attention to the product so i'm like well that just defeat the whole purpose of posting the controversial shit they're not even paying attention to the product like so that didn't even matter but yeah instagram for sure tiktok too like i said but instagram is kind of where i focused mostly at i'm gonna post one reel a day and one picture a day for sure then number two i'm going to do uh influencer marketing now influencer marketing it's a good way to definitely sell out but it's it's kind of hard because you have to find the people who's in your niche like and normally since i'm not good at tiktok i try to find tiktokers and it's just it's influencer marketing it's just it's kind of hard because you don't have no control really over what they're going to do. Like you could tell a person like, okay, we, we got a, a plan set up and I'll pay you. Sometimes I, I've never paid nobody, first of all. So maybe that's probably why. But the people who did wear my product that I sent it to, you know, everything went pretty good. But sometimes you send it to people and they never wear the shit or they wear it when, I don't know, whenever they want to. So it's just like. Y'all kind of definitely got to be on the same page with the influencer or whatever. So, I mean, that's just, it's a good way, like I said, to sell out, but it can be a headache if the shit, I mean, sometimes just don't work. Or you may send it to somebody who like, depending on your type of brand, like I have a, like a more, I feel like urban streetwear brand. It's not like a lot of dark colors and a uh, like moody type of brand. It's just, I think it's specifically for like, 16 to 22 year olds or somewhere around that you know and um so i'm not going to send it to somebody who's like i ain't gonna lie like not even maybe little baby could wear the sweatsuits or whatever he might but i just feel like he on a totally different like lane than what my brand is in so i would look for someone like younger like a little a younger tiktoker youtuber somebody who got a lot of like uh younger fans high schools or whatever so i don't know like i said influencer gets kind of confused confusing but i have a couple people of the influencers that um i've sent to before and they're i don't know y'all might know um vante he's a good he's a, a tiktoker i sent stuff to before he wore it 
Yeah, yeah, they, they would uh, well, not them, but yeah. So yeah, he gets a lot of like views and stuff on um TikTok. Like this post right here got um y'all see them likes. Yeah. Thirteen thousand likes. Y'all see my comment on it. So yeah. And a couple people asked him, you know, you know, about the Swiss suit, whatever. So yeah, like I said, I'm still kind of tr really trying to find my perfect lane for influencers. But once I do and I get that that good influencer to wear it, you know, I feel like that'd be that'd be big for me. And um, for sure, y'all seeing y'all stuff to like YouTubers is big right now. Like they do the unboxing and they rate your brand, even other clothing brands. You know, I send my stuff to a lot of different people like that too. So it's just hey, we gonna we gonna get it going some kind of way. But um number one and four sisters are number two. Number one, number one thing y'all need to do is build I keep saying y'all, like I'm trying to tell y'all how to sell out. Really it's the same thing because I'm trying to sell out my drop too. So I'm trying to build this SMS list. Like everything that I'm doing steps two through six and then the web kind of you know exclude the website or whatever but it's to build that sms list the promoting the three to four weeks is solely to build the sms list as much as i can before i drop um the the posting the tiktok the um instagram reel the post every day is to keep pushing my product in front of y'all eyes to build the sms list because that sms coming straight to your phone that text message coming right to your phone and then you add the link to your um text message that you send out they just go straight to the site and they you know click the link go right to the website and buy like email is okay like as a backup but that sms gotta go like y'all gotta make sure y'all build the sms list so i mean basically that's the six ways that i came up with what i'm doing right now how i'm plan on selling out this next drop that's gonna be it man i'm gonna come back in a couple of days and i'm going to um i'm gonna have another video for y'all i forgot i was thinking about something else i wanted to talk to y'all about when i was at work today it was this one how i plan to sell out and it was something else i forgot but i'm gonna think of it so y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe as always you know y'all try to look I i'm getting a little subscribers though and i appreciate every last subscriber because like i swear i got it memory of an elephant i'm gonna remember a lot of people who was down with me right now before it really take off and really blow up because like i know it is like i only been doing it six months and it's already kind of exceeded my expectations but i'm just type of person like i like to put my head down and work and then i just come up and i see like you know everything that's like and then appreciate like i i can't appreciate it while i'm in the moment because i'll be trying to grind so hard and like I see, I think so far into the future that I don't even just sit back and appreciate what I have accomplished basically already because I'm already thinking about what I want to accomplish next. So I try to like live more in the moment and appreciate everything that I have accomplished so far. But just me being the type of person I am, it's kind of hard. But I just want to let y'all know I do appreciate all of y'all, everybody who shot with me, everybody who, um, you know, tag me in pictures post their pictures you know where my stuff just give me that feedback you know that i that i need and i look for to let me know that i'm on the right track and i'm doing the right thing so i appreciate y'all but yeah y'all just make sure y'all like comment subscribe try to at least get me to 20 subscribers <laughs> I, I don't know how many i got probably like 12 or something but but yeah i'm gonna still i'm gonna try to be more consistent with this too and um you know just post videos probably at least two times a week just letting y'all know what's going on and everything and uh you know just keep y'all updated behind the scenes and that's it so i'm until next time i'm gonna see y'all again see y'all later mm -hmm.